Ow, 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 I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I also destroyed my, uh... You feel cold? Oh, come on! Uh-oh. Well, I got him down to half health, so, um, progress. He got a star because he killed you. Alright, let's try that again. Well, I'm gaining running skill. So that's nice. Ah, why didn't you put my armor on? Not that it really matters. I still only got one star. Too close. Oh, he didn't kill me that time. Why were you doing so much less- oh, because a corpse run, I'll bet. Interesting. Well, we survived. Nothing bad happened. Absolutely nothing bad happened. And we're alive. Alright, so we need to get back to building. I need to make my raft. Ooh. I need to make my chopping block again. What does this even do? It'd be nice if there was a little bit more like context saying this is what this thing does. And then I think we're going to go back to the wood floors. <sighs> Don't get too close to the cooking fires. They hurt. Um, I'm going to eat something, see if that helps recover some food. Um, now... I would like to build a base like under this stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, that's three is remove. I feel cold, I know. So I can't see a thing. Alright, so this is going to be the center of my base. Now, can I... Put one of these... No. I can't. So you're going to need to be a little ways out of my base. Say over here. What's that? Why is that shining? Resin or something. Uh, then I'll go back to crafting and building. It's super dark because I'm trying to do all of this stuff at night time because I don't actually have a shelter yet. One day when we are properly sheltered. I'll be able to do this stuff indoors. I need more wood. Okay. 
Well, we've almost finished building our 3x3. I'll probably go to like a 5x5 and then call that good. So when it gets light, and I think I am going to wait until it gets light so I can actually see what's going on. We'll go and chop down some trees. I'm still getting cold. Oh, my health has actually gone over the maximum. I'm now 28 instead of 23. Day two. We successfully survived today. Definitely did not die. No deaths occurred. None. But you can kind of see why I'm so nervous about fighting things when most things in the world can one-shot you. Don't roll away. No, stop, Rob, stop rolling. Stop. Come back here. It does kind of look like if one of these hits you at the right speed, it will do damage to you. Oh, I think your maximum health is correlated to how well fed you are. Because the health bar seems to have risen in the same way as the, uh, the food bar has. Trees can fall on you and kill you. Good to know. Alright, let's go back over to our fledgling base. And then we'll go back to you. And then we'll say... That. And... That. That's four. And I think we'll go out this way. Oh, you're right. It didn't clip properly. Alright, let's fix that. So we need to go click, click. And that one too. Oh, now it's getting really foggy. Like, really foggy. So that's a 4x4. Four four. I would like to go to a 5, so I think once again we'll probably move the fire. Because I quite like having my workbench where it is right now. Oh, don't tell me that this piece of... God darn it! Oops. Not high enough. Alright, we'll go this way. That's four by five, then we'll probably need to get rid of you. Um, fine. I can't seem to destroy that. That's not very good. Okay, I need a workbench again. Um, so right click, crafting, workbench. And this time we're going to like have it actually in the base. Like there. Alright. Building, floor. Now, this is where things get interesting, because as you can see, this is not clipping into the ground. And I think there are ways of, like, making shovels and actually doing some terraforming. Um, not at that level yet. But there is something we can do, and that is making these poles. And basically having them clip into the side. And have them work to just you know, give us a little bit of extra oomph. Hmm. 
Oh, we're out of wood again. The lighting in this game really does look spectacular. All right, back to wood cutting. Before the uh, the axe breaks. Because it's going to break soon. Nope. Can I make another stone axe? Nope, I need more wood. Can I repair this? Uh, not obviously. Oh, there's the weight limit. Okay, so we do have a li weight limit. Um, so we need three more wood. Oh, time to go punching some... Actually, we can do better than this. We can hit it with a hammer, with a club. Which does degrade... it really quite heavily. But this will at least allow me to make another stone axe. Now, I don't know what we do with the broken axes, so we're just going to move those around. Back to the axe, and back to hitting this tree, I believe it was. I have a feeling that, yeah, it's going to drop that way. So let's get out of the way of that thing. Whoa, oh dear. Hello, goblin man. Thank you for your resin. Much obliged to you. Alright, chop chop time. Whoa! Ow! Yeah. Falling logs can definitely hurt you, so um, don't get in the way of falling logs. I think I'll stand safely at the end. It seems a lot safer. Alright, so we got another bunch of wood. So now we're going to go back to this. No, we're not. We're going to go to this. And then we're going to make sure that we got all of our poles in. Went around it. I could eat another bite. All right, then let's have another of those. Okay, so that looks like a fully supported floor. Oh, no. Do another one there. And another one there. And another one there. And another one there. But no more. So I think in the future what I'll probably do is like make a full floor with these poles first and then do the flooring. Now where's that's over there, okay. Um, so next up, we are going to take a look at walling. So we can build walls. Like so. Need more wood. I can tell already that this is going to be quite a wood intensive project. I'm going to leave the little saplings actually, because if the axe breaks, they're quite useful to have around. Yeah, the weather effects of this game are really good. Uh, which way are you falling? That way. 
<laughs> did a ton of damage to the tree as well. <laughs> I'm guessing you could set up like um, lock traps. At least the uh, physics of the game would seem to allow that type of thing. Huzzah! Okay, so that's another log done. Level 5. Fog's starting to burn off a little bit. So we'll go back to the hammer, and we'll go back to placing walls. That's not placing a wall. That's placing a wall. Um, do I want to put a doorway there? I think the main entrance is going to be here. Yeah, I'm going to have a double door. We'll have a door on one end and a door on the other two. Now... We could go double story. I don't think I necessarily need to, though. And we're also out of wood again. Um, well, the first thing I'm going to do... Let's move this once again, and we'll put it, like, on that wall instead. So we're going to go to right-click, misc, workbench. I'm going to stick the workbench right up against that wall. Like so. Okay, cool. So how much am I going to need to do doorways? Wooden door, four wood. That way around. I need the wood though. Alright, back to the wood cutting. Where's the nearest? Probably over this way. I take it this is near where you started. Yeah, so we started here. Maybe I could drop those trees on skeletons. Yeah, true. Be kind of difficult to judge, not to mention, you know, having to actually cut the tree down at the same time. Whoa. Oh, that's a boar. Oh, jeez, we're really close to the boars. And apparently a goblin too. Hello, little gobbo. where I'm hitting two trees at once. Efficiency! Alright, how about we use the wood that we got so far to make a door so I can at least run away if I need to. Okay, so. I now have at least a set of walls. So I can do tactical retreating if I need to. Tactical advancing. Uh, the next thing I want to do, I think, is put an actual campfire inside my house. Uh, maybe in the corner. Uh, so that's going to be number four. That's going to be right click. Misc. Need a bunch more stone for that. Because I know I'm going to burn myself on that fire one of these days when I leave this place. 
But we will get back to that later. Um, first thing though, the other thing I want to do is take a look at the steps. How much wood do I have? It'd be nice to be able to see that from here. Clipping on the inside, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I want it underneath. How do I get you to go down? Well, how about I go out of this, I open the door, then I open it up again. Is the door the wrong way around? I don't think so. I think it's just getting the wrong idea about where I want the ladder. Yeah, see, I can't even get it to clip to the, uh, the floor properly. Maybe because it needs some more posts. Yeah, I have a feeling that this is just not going to work as an entrance, so we're just going to have the one entrance on the other side. Maybe the campfire's in the way. Maybe. Going to need to find some more stone for tonight now, I think. Yeah, I think it's just because the ground is clipping in such a way. Oh, no, there we go. We got it. And then we can go back to you, back to the door. And have the door back in place. And there we go. Alright, so the basics of our house is now complete. I am probably... Oh, no, we got enough stone. So we can go... Four. Right click fire. What's that? Is that like a barrow or something? Is that where the skeleton came from? Can I make a pickaxe? No. I wonder if that's where the skeleton came from. Oh, could eat again. Oh dear. Going through food pretty quickly here. Alright, so, uh, campfire, I think I'm going to stick... It's getting dark again. I do think I like the idea of putting the campfire here next to the tomb, maybe on top of the tomb. We'll stick it on top of the tomb. We can use it kind of like a beacon. Looks like a barrow. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Very suspiciously so. Whoop. 
Okay, you need to be further indoors when you do that. Alright, so the next thing. Um, just how big do I want to make this? Now, where is the bed? There's the bed. So we're going to need a bunch more wood for that. We could also make a chest, which is also a bunch more wood. Oh, wait, there's repair. Whoops. How do I repair... Tools. I'm guessing you repair tools on the workbench when you can actually access it. Which requires it to be roofed. Oh man, this is going to be a lot more involved than I thought it might be. I mean, we could do wall and a half. Or well, we could do two doubles. Make this properly spacious. I think I might just do two doubles. I mean, the other thing that I could do is do a double wall up. Then have stairs going up to like a half floor. If that makes sense. So it's a bit like a barn. I feel cold. Oh dear. I can't... <laughs> I can't get the effects of the heat from inside my house. Yeah, that's the edge. That's the radius. I will stand here with my club. Need to be able to make um, stone floors. A hammer is also almost done. Oh, we're getting some tree seeds. Okay. Alright, let's take a look. I want to see what else is available. So we get wood stacks, we get stone piles. We can eventually make a raft, which will allow us to sail around. Chopping block. What the heck is the chopping block for? I do wish there was a little bit more, like, information. Like, what do I need the chopping block for? What, what does that allow me to do? Fences, stakes, so these stake walls are basically a palisade, so you can put up proper walls around your settlement. There was a stream I was watching the other day who just started doing that. And the bed as well, okay. So the bed's definitely going to be the next project. I wonder if you have this, if you still get cold. Yes. Crafting the chopping block and placing it near the workbench will upgrade your bench to level 2. The tanning rack will upgrade to level 3. This will allow you to upgrade your weapons, tools, and clothing to level 2 and 3. Okay. Good to know. It would be nice if it actually, you know, said that in the game. Mr. Viewer number 12, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Jazith, coming in with a six-month resubscription. Thank you very much for the ongoing support there. Very much appreciate that. Thank you. Xanthar, coming in with a 16-month resubscription. Ooh, I'm curious about this game. Yeah, so was I. Very much so. Then we've got Skulzuki, coming in with a new follow. And XKMD Global, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Good to have you joining us. Early access is early access. Yeah, and that's probably the kind of feedback that they're looking for. Did I miss a Sinjin pun? I thought I caught the one earlier. Oh no, it is a new one. My bad, Sindrin. Sorry. Where do Vikings keep their babies? In the nursery. Why didn't women join Viking expeditions? They only crafted male armor. Ouch. What was the first proposed name for the Viking colony in Vinland? North America. 